you're watching TVC Breakfast. Safety in place of, uh, or in a state in which hazards and conditions leading to physical, psychological, or material harm are controlled in order to preserve the health and well-being of individuals. Staying safe at workplaces is key to productivity, as only employees who feel safe can contribute their best at work. Now, during a pandemic, safety goes beyond uh, just physical well-being, but also mental well-being, as such situations can be traumatic for some persons. How will organizations ensure that their employees are safe, both physically and mentally, at such times? These are things we'll talk about shortly in the next couple of uh, minutes. Occupational Health and Safety Management Consultant Ehi then joins me now on Zoom for insight into this. Ehi, good morning. It's good to have you join me now. Good morning, Mike. It feels so good to be here. Great. Now, talking about the issues of safety, uh, we within the organization, uh, a lot of people don't seem to... Uh, or, or seem to overlook very simple things that uh, could ensure people's safety within the workplace. Now, make us understand, what are some of the things that uh, one should look out for in an organization that if overlooking them or abandoning them could jeopardize people's safety? Uh, thank you so much, Mike. The, the bottom line is um, it is a part of human right for everyone to go to work and come back safely without any form of harm. And workplace on its own has been invaded for so many years. You have so many things that cause uh, workers injury and even ill health in the workplace. And it is the duty of care of employers to ensure that workers, they work in workplace uh, within those, those exposure and still come out safe. When you look at office environment, there are a number of issues that are valuable. Talk about uh, trip and fall within the workplace, talk about exposure to poisonous substances, chem chemical, biological, and even physical hazards. All these hazards uh, put together, they are controllable. But it is just for us to be able to do the risk assessment, know the severity of these hazards, uh, who could be hurt, and to what extent that person could be hurt, and being able to build adequate control against this hard and mitigate them and ensure that people work in the workplace and are able to come out safe. Hazards in the workplace are categorized into two. We have the what you call um, the element, the ones you can eliminate and the ones you can manage. Uh, like like the nurses, for, for example, we can say because there is, there is HIV AIDS, the nurses will not give uh, injections. They will still give injections because these have been seen as part of the hazard in their job. All they have to do is that they work away, work out a way that they can manage those hazards because they are not eliminatable. So the overall aim is that we must look at our workplaces, look at what are those things that pose risk to employees. Even, even the way we see it, economic issue, critical issue, it has become during this time of pandemic and COVID-19 where people have to work more hours and working from homes, people even have to work from their, from their coffee seats outside the economically designed seats with awkward body posture. So all this put together, they, they, they affect the worker. We're not just talking about um, um, accident and accident alone. We are looking at accident where, where blood and lacerations and, and uh, deep cuts happen in the workplace. But above all that, we are looking at things that are not necessarily accident that are called uh, workplace occupational health diseases. And these are becoming a uh, great um, issues that are spiraling globally uh, at, as the concerns workers. They are not open wounds, but yet they, they, they are within the employees and they suffer from body pain, disability, and even occupational and mental health issues. All right. Now, you have a conference today that, uh, that talks about or relates to issues like this. Can you share with us what this is about and what the objective and agenda is? Okay, we have a conference today in Lagos uh, that's lasting for, uh, from today to the day after tomorrow. It's called International Vision Zero Conference Africa. This is the first time we are hosting this conference in Africa, and um, and uh, it, it has been ISA. It, it has been put together by ISA. ISA is International Social Security Association, uh, in partnership with uh, DGUV Germany, OSH Africa, Occupational Health and Safety Managers, and TPWS. 
So we are hosting this conference in Lagos. All we're all we're looking at looking at in this conference is focusing on the on the tripod that the Vision Zero leans on, which is safety, health, and well-being, as a fo and focus on employees. And we have many sessions of ISA that have joined us uh, to host this conference. What we're looking look, what basically focusing on is we have to we have to open up the conversations as it concerns safety and health of employees. It is it is part of the human right of employee to be able to go to work and come back to the family in one piece. We have to focus more on on, on workplace well-being even more that we have um, this COVID nineteen available to us. So a lot a lot of information are still lagging in this in this area. So what we're doing with this conference is to open up the conversation more as it concerns this space because we're, we're looking at different sectors like transportation, marine, oil and gas, even uh, commerce and engineering and all have you construction they all gather together at this conference what are the safe ways to actually uh, get construction done i mean we, you, you knew what has happened recently in nigeria where we have the collapse building how, how do we work in a way that even not even outside the collapse people that work in construction sites that they can come out safely we knew how many people we lost in the construction site uh, in the collapse that happened recently in lagos how do we walk around having firm buildings what are the things we need to we need to put in place in designing our buildings we need to talk about safe building safe construction and safe workers within those those uh, areas these are some of the key issues we are focusing on we're also looking at the issues as it concerns maritime transportation railway and, and mining these are there are a lot of risks that are, that are exposed to people within the, this um uh, pra this uh, trade or, or sectors we also have we have experts from across across different countries in the world we have people coming in from germany france uh, uk uh, the us um Z zambia uh, uganda we have a lot we have we have experts 27 experts from 16 countries gathered in lagos to do justice to all these topics we have brought up in ensuring that workers who go to work are able to stay safe and kept for their family to mm. continue uh, healthy so, living all right so so what are the immediate expected results from this conference uh f from the standpoint where all of these people are gathering a lot of them have experiences to share a lot of them have skills to share and all of that but what are the immediate results you expect to see from the conference what we have also done uh, some of the immediate result is that we will, come, we will at the end of the day we will come up with a communique on all that all that have been uh, realized in the conference and also present this to government as part of our contribution in creating a safer nation in going forward across workplaces and again we also have we have also designed um sections where people um, can actually have one-on-one -on -one discussion with these experts in areas they have difficulties in their workplaces and see how these experts can also um also mentor them and make contributions to all they are doing in line with with, with their, their field of expertise and we're also taking uh, most of these experts around like we have technical tour in this conference to look at it we are going to a power station uh, at ikorodu to look at what's available in that place what are the things we meet on ground what this is how it is done what, what are there safer ways this can be done better so we have about such about four or three of such ten, technical uh, locations tours will be doing to technical locations to look at what's available how is it being done how what are the ways that it can be done better sharing countries experience from different perspectives and using that to improve what we have in our system these are some of the quick fixes that we can have as, a, as, as an outcome of this conference all right uh, thank you very much uh, he for uh, this insight into all of this and uh, what you're doing you're the uh, the form the occupational health and safety management you're the consultant there thank you very much for the time on the program have a great day ahead my pleasure mike thank you so much great